Hi traders, welcome to weekly analysis by Trade with Asim and Sajjad. We will be analyzing markets from 6th of August till 10th of August uh, 2018. We will only discuss about the high impact news in the economic calendar. Uh, uh, these two bull news or medium impact news are important for the scalpers or short term traders uh, because if they want to execute their trades or if they have any open trades, so they should adjust their TPs and stop losses. Otherwise, uh, this uh, news uh, doesn't bring much volatility, only around uh, 15 to 25 or 30 pips. So, Monday we don't have any high impact news. Uh, on Tuesday, the day will start with the Australian uh, RBA interest rate decision. The forecast is unchanged, but still it's a big news. So, normally we see volatility of 50 to 100 pips. If you have any open trades at these times, you just adjust your trades and TPs or uh, stop losses. Then later in the evening, we have uh, for US dollar, JOLS job opening and for Canadian dollar, IVPMI. Uh, these are important news and can give some sort of support to the both uh, currency pairs. Then on Wednesday, we have uh, for US dollar, crude oil inventories uh, looks good and may give some support to the US dollar. After that, for New Zealand dollar, we have RBNZ interest rate decision, uh, same like Australian dollar. Uh, the forecast is uh, unchanged, but still we will expect a uh, huge volatility around 50 to 100 pips. Thursday will be important, uh, though we have some medium impact news, but the bigger one are for US dollar, PPI, uh, MOM for July month. Uh, the forecast looks uh, pretty much the same, but still we can expect some volatility in the US pairs. For JPY, uh, GDP uh, is a very important news, and if you have any JPY pairs uh, running trades or you want to trade this, it's a very good opportunity. We can expect uh, a drop in the USD JPY pair, especially. Friday, August 10, we have lots of news, especially for GBP, uh, US dollar, and Canadian dollar. For GBP, we are expecting business investment and the most important one is GDP then imports industrial production MOM the data looks pretty good and for currently weaker GBP it's going to give some boost to GBP USD pair uh, so it's a very good opportunity to trade this news event after that we will have uh, for US dollar core CPI uh, though the forecast is uh, pretty much the same but still we will see some sort of volatility then at the same time we have for Canadian dollar employment change this one looks weaker and we might see uh, USD CAD going up and it, uh, I'm going to long this news uh, it's a good opportunity so best of luck guys uh, let's move to DXY US dollar currency index honestly speaking for the last few weeks I'm not getting any direction and that's why I've made some losses uh, even the next week looks pretty much uh, uncertain uh, technically speaking when you see the charts uh, the charts uh, is giving another picture but the ne next week then we see a drop or a rally so if we look at the DXY uh, technically speaking it should go up now uh, I'm looking at 96.35 if it uh, just continues to go up but if you can see it has been rejected from uh, 95.50 level a very strong uh, resistance level so if it this time if it succeeds to break this level then it's heading to 96.35 and after that much higher even to 98 and 100 but if the situation remains the same uh, then it can again drop after 96.35 or drop from 95.65 level the second scenario is that it can start dropping from Monday and it can even drop to 93.32 till end of the week. Last week too I uh, shared this in the group that uh, if you are trading just trade with the smaller targets your take profits and stop losses should be uh, very close. Uh, if we look at the daily and 4 hour time frame uh, even then uh, there is nothing much you can see here it just you know every week it goes up and then uh, down up and down 
so un unless it breaks 96.60 or 65 then we will have a clear direction or on the other hand if it uh, drops below 94.00 then it's supposed to go to 32 hopefully this week we see some kind of direction even by looking at the four hour time frame though it looks like it uh, it's going up after a small correction but the uh, four hour close uh, was uh, doji and even uh, the monday can start from a gap down so if you are trading any instrument just be careful for the next week especially for at least two or three days then uh, if when you see a clear direction then you can pursue that trade we move to euro usd a uh, euro usd is also just moving sideways and though at the moment it's looking uh, very weak too so it can drop uh, and uh, i am targeting 1.1467 and below on the other hand if a dollar drops then it's supposed to go up and uh, by the end of week it can go to 1.1790 though rsi looks like oversold but there's still some cushion and it can even go down maybe it touches 1.1467 and after that it can bounce back and may try to reach 1.1790 if we have a look at daily and four hour time frame here it is on the daily uh, at the moment it's a good support level actually uh, it can uh, bounce back even from monday but uh, the momentum is bearish so it can go further down so hopefully by tuesday or mid wednesday it can touch 1.1467 and from here we can expect some bounce back on the four hour time frame if we have a look at four hour time frame yes uh, it's uh, all the way going down uh, but the RSI is just indicating it's time for a reversal or a, a smaller correction. So if you have any Euro USD open trades, just be careful with uh, your uh, stop losses. Uh, don't short from here. Uh, just wait uh, when you find a reversal uh, or a retracement, then you can enter for a buy trade. But don't trade here. We move to GBP USD and same story. Uh, just like uh, euro usd it's down on the weekly time frame uh, i think gbp is much weaker than euro usd but only uh, news release on the friday can help gbp to bounce back again uh, it can go to 1.2773 in the coming three or four um, days then from thursday or from early friday morning it can start going up and by the end of week it can reach to 1.3268 and above let's confirm it on the daily and four hour time frame on the daily two uh, here we i will wait until uh, tuesday i won't trade gbp usd on monday i will see any clear direction so far it's looking like uh, bearish to me on the four hour time frame too i don't see much difference and here it is but i will definitely wait it's a good opportunity to wait and enter into a buy trade you have to be more patient uh, with these uh, trades let's move to usd jpy and usd jpy uh, it's just about to drop uh, I think even the, in the coming week we have JPY news release. It may bring it down and for this week I am looking at 109.35 at least and it can even uh, drop below that level. On the other hand it can bounce back after touching 150 moving average and it can try to reach 113.25 and above on the daily and four hour time frame if we just compare it on the daily it's definitely a sell and then on the four hour time frame if we compare it uh, yes uh, still it, it closed below 1500 moving average and it's heading downward so usd jpy is a definite sell uh, we need to wait for a better entry uh, don't jump in now uh, because if you see the rsi it's uh, indicating like it's a time for a smaller correction 
so uh, for longer term yes definitely it's a very good trade uh, we will uh, keep posting signals uh, just be there to catch it let's move to USD care and USD care is looking very nice uh, the up going uh, oil prices are helping a USD care pair to go further down I'm looking at 1.2818 for this uh, week USD care is a very good sell trade but uh, from uh, one 0.2818 it can bounce back so just be careful at that if you are uh, shorting it now your TP should be around that area uh, when you find another entry then you can short it again but uh, don't uh, keep your TP longer than that let's uh, have a look at the daily time frame on the daily too it's uh, at the moment it's on 100 moving average and it's uh, just trying to go further down uh, on 4 hour time frame uh, it's uh, just uh, at the smaller support level but I don't see it's uh, it can hold for longer so definitely it's a very good uh, sell trade uh, so for the coming week my targets are 1.2818 and in case it uh, goes up again it can reach to 1.3203 I think the Friday news event can help you as the cat pair to go up uh, if you are uh, the uh, thinking to long it uh, better wait until Thursday evening or uh, Friday morning we move to USD CHF USD CHF has been doing well for the last few weeks even this week it was supposed to go up all the way but it dropped uh, I am uh, neutral bias on USD CHF right now but it can drop further down and if it drops it's uh, heading to 0.9787 and below in the other case it can again try to go up and this time it will reach 1.0070 we check it on daily and four hour time frame and on the daily too only the Friday close was bearish but it can even continue to uh, start going up uh, on the other hand if it can drop then it can drop to 0.9787 uh, let's have a look at 4 hour time frame and on the 4 hour time frame too it bounced back from 100 moving average hopefully it can go up uh, but uh, as I said I'm neutral by as it can go any side so just be careful if you are in this trade uh, we move to Australian USD pair I'm waiting anxiously for Australian USD to go up and now hopefully this coming week and we are also expecting Australian data it can take the pair 2.75052 and above on the other hand if it drops then it's heading 2.7289 and below we just confirm it on the daily and on the daily too you can see it's just moving in the sideways and uh, the coming we can repeat uh, the same pattern but hopefully uh, with the supporting data it can go up this week on the four hour time frame too uh, it's just trying to uh, hold and go up further uh, right now it's still above 100 moving average even i'm looking at the gap up on monday morning let's move to New Zealand USD and New Zealand uh, is looking much weaker than Australian dollar but our only hope is the coming weeks data it can uh, give some uh, support to the falling uh, prices and this time it can reach 2.6887 and above on the other hand it can still continue to drop and if it drops it's uh, dropping to points triple six nine five and below and let's have a look at the daily and four hour time frame on the daily too it looks uh, though it's on the support level but it can continue dropping more uh, on the four hour time frame uh, not very good side and it even can continue dropping more our last pair is gold and gold has been dropping since uh, almost three months even right now it's not looking very good only thing is the daily time frame and four hour which is um, a bit promising it can it can be a start of a reversal or a bigger price correction uh, it will also depend how the US dollar goes but uh, although on the weekly it still looks much weaker but if we see on the daily time frame 
here it is so on the daily uh, Friday it closed in green and to me it looks like it's a start of a bigger correction or even the reversal why I'm saying that because on the four hour time frame it's uh, looking pretty good though uh, before the close of the week uh, it dropped but I'm still hoping that it can uh, go up again so thank you very much guys that was our weekly analysis uh, I wish you a profitable trading week we'll see you with a new video until then take care and bye bye